Our Malaysia's budget 2024 is slated to be tabled in Parliament this Friday. It will be a prime opportunity for the government to contain ballooning debt and undertake fiscal consolidation. In view of this, experts say the government needs to move forward with targeted subsidy reforms that are designed to save billions of dollars a year. Melissa Go with more. Housewife Rini Sabit lives in a low-cost housing area on the fringes of Kuala Lumpur. The mother of two has been selling homemade snacks in her neighbourhood to make ends meet. She says her husband's meagre salary as a railway worker is not enough to support a family. Although the government has spent billions of dollars in food subsidies on daily essentials such as rice and cooking oil, getting them is not always easy. <laughs> Nearby, Yuna Saruji and his wife who sell banana fritters shared similar complaints. Kalau dapat pun dua paket je lah. Kita pun terpaksa pakai yang ni lah, yang botol kadang-kadang. Yang harga RM29 kan, saya 5 kilo. The government says 60 million packets of subsidised oil are released into the market every month. But they run out so quickly because anyone, regardless of their household income, can buy them. They are priced at 50 US cents a packet, while the bottled ones are easily three to four times more. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim, who will be tabling budget 2024, is expected to announce details on subsidy rationalisation to better help the lower income group without neglecting middle income earners. In a recent interview with CNA, he said the current subsidy programme that ran up to 17 billion US dollars last year is plagued by leakage and wastage and simply not sustainable. Half of fuel subsidies are said to benefit the rich. The country cannot or continue with this total dependence on um, obsolete policies of just giving out handouts, subsidies, which is no longer tenable. Amount of leakages and waste, if this can be stopped, the amount of subsidy which can be saved will uh, amount to billions. He has tasked the Minister of Economic Affairs, Rafizi Ramli, to develop a mega database with real-time information from multiple agencies, profiling some 10 million households. Ready by January, this system, known as Badu, will provide a basis for targeted subsidy rollout, factoring in not just the combined income, the household size, the locality, distance to work and to school. The challenge now is implementation, whether Mr Anwar's administration has the capacity and the political will to see it through. The problem is that people want quick wins. These reforms might take some time. If you're going to do targeted subsidies and GST on the fiscal consolidation side, the cost of living might actually increase over the short term. The government is in a little bit of a bind. The concern is the Malay communities will actually be very quickly won over by the critique of PN and PAS as opposition. While the government has no immediate plan to reintroduce the goods and services tax, it's committed to achieving the target of reducing fiscal deficit to 3.5% of GDP by the end of 2025. And if the target is met, it would assure investors that Prime Minister Anwar's government is serious about fiscal consolidation. Melissa Goh, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.